Hello, I am Wallace, the Polish toy guy. Thank you for tuning into my video. Today it's going to be a small review of a small set from 2013. This is LEGO City 6006 Police ATV, where ATV stands for All Terrain Vehicle. Yes, this is a small set indeed, as pretty much everything indicates. The size of the box, the price tag of $7, the parts count of 51, but we have two minifigures and actually I think this set tries to do something interesting and I will discuss this in more detail later on. And of course, because this is a LEGO product, we also get a nice instruction manual, which as you can see is fairly thin but has one great aspect to it. When you open it up, it doesn't close and with some other brick brands this can get really annoying. But also the manual too shows us that this is indeed a small set because it actually ends on step 12. And the funny thing is, step 1 and 2 is not the very assembly process but rather some advice how to make our life easier with this already easy assembly that takes around 5-10 minutes. So. Yes, we can segregate all of our parts into smaller groups by color, by, by part type and also a suggestion, let's keep all of our parts on a flat surface where we work and not on the floor. And I think that one is actually set for the benefit of other people sharing the room with us, because there is no greater pain than stepping on Lego pieces. So once we are done with the assembly, we have five main points of interest. Two minifigures the gear and these spare parts in case we decide to lose something during the build. So now it's time to start our main journey through this set and the first stop is going to be the minifigures. This is Elite Police Officer but that sounds kind of detached so instead I will call this man Chuck because that's a good name for someone with a beard who fights in the name of justice. And I will also take off his black cap because I want to take a better look at his fine features. This is a very nicely printed head, only on one side, yes, but this is a very good face for a police officer. The beard is nice with eyebrows in the same color. This smile is very assuring. This is the kind of face a typical citizen can trust. Great. And I also like this vest detailing. This looks amazing. So many things to look at, even a small radio. The badge is also nice. Pockets, pockets, lots of pockets. Police, more pockets. Cable for the radio, more pockets and some clasp. Nothing on the pants, but at the front, yes, we have more clasps, more pockets. So overall, this figure looks really impressive. And now it's time for the bad guy, codename Crook, but I prefer Billy. Billy has black pants and a very bemused face. He is angry and also probably hasn't shaved in three days. But yes, these rocked features are not friendly. He is looking for trouble and also has this cool cap, which is made at a small angle so you can spin it around to give him a second set of eyebrows to make him even angrier. Nice. And his costume looks kind of like he just escaped from prison, got back home for a second to snatch his stealing gear and then went back to get on the job. So we have rope, we have keys, we have lockpicks, we have some almost like Batman belt, which is nice, but yes, he means business bad business. And as you may have noticed before, Billy comes equipped with this big red wheelbarrow, which is honestly not a very easy word to say for someone not using English natively. In Polish we call this taczka, which is much easier for us to pronounce, but this wheelbarrow has a rubber tire so it spins nicely and also can carry several items, including this red crowbar which fits into Billy's hand as well as his loot. These four clear plastic jewels which also fit into his hand and which really reflect light nicely. 
and the wheelbarrow can also be used as a sturdy mode of transportation should Billy ever find a way to give it proportion. If not, Billy can easily become the proportion himself by simply grabbing both of the handles simultaneously without any problem and pushing it. And he better should because Chuck is in pursuit in his trusty police ATV, which is a nice little vehicle. It's not very big, but it has a bit of heft to it and it has rubber tires, which allow this vehicle to roll on the floor without any problem. And also it has a bit of mud flap parts and my favorite, these lights in different clear plastic colors. And as you can see, these parts are on railings, so you can adjust the angle however you want. Well, at least in that axis. And we also have two attachment points for Chuck's walkie-talkie and handcuffs. And Chuck himself has a steering wheel to control the whole vehicle. And also he sits securely. So if you shake the ATV, he still is in his place, ready to serve justice. And I don't know if you agree with me, but I think with these accessories, if someone just added the display stands to these figures, they would both work really well as items for the LEGO minifigures series. And unfortunately for Billy, the handcuffs fit his wrists pretty well. You have to squeeze them a bit to make the fit possible, but... Then again, even if I am slightly afraid that they will not survive this process if repeated too often, we do get a spare set. And now we are back to the almost box art configuration of the set. And I have to admit, it looks nice. But I do have two problems with this. The first one being, this is a very cartoony scene. You would not see a burglar running around the city with his loot in a wheelbarrow. He would either conceal the loot in a bag or maybe dress to look less conspicuous. This is something that will certainly work in the mind of a child that you could see in a cartoon, but not in real life. Also, for a set that includes both good and evil characters, it's rather easy to figure out who's more likely to be victorious here. The crook has a crowbar and a wheelbarrow, and the police officer has a full vehicle. So, yeah, I think the odds are in favor of the police officer, and this is something I'm not really a big fan of in LEGO sets. Uh, I prefer that if you actually decide to put both good and evil characters in one set, you give them pretty equal chances of victory, because that makes things much more interesting. If you can clearly see from the outset that it's pretty much a one-side battle where good wins, I think it's slightly less entertaining. Let the kid decide who is going to win this battle today and maybe change his or her mind on another day. But with a situation like this, there's not really a choice because uh, it just doesn't stack up in any other way. Now, this is a small set with limited amount of parts, so this disproportion is not as visible as, for example, with Lance's Mecha Horse from Nexo Knights, partly pictured here, where pretty much the whole set is dedicated to the good guy and the bad guy is pretty much thrown in just so that the good guy has anything to fight, but we can already tell that the good guy is going to win and there's not going to be much of a struggle. I am tempted to review Mecha Horse just to talk about this in more detail, so if you like this idea, you would like to see this review, you can comment with a hashtag yay for rant and that will be a signal for me to record that review. But even with that said, I think overall this is a pretty decent set for such a budget, for such a part count. The nitpicks I have for it are mostly, well, nitpicks of an adult, so kids will probably don't mind or even notice these things. 
and I do appreciate what this set is trying to do. Usually with sets of this size we have one vehicle, one minifigure, not much more, but here Despite the limitations, LEGO still tried to give us a scene so that we can buy only this set, have fun without the necessity of actually buying multiple sets to recreate a scene of action. So that's a big plus. And if you like police criminal theme, I think this is a good small set that won't hurt your budget too much. So if you like that kind of thing, Give it this set a try and I think you will not be disappointed. And that's all for this video review. I will be back with the next one soon. And until then, stay well.